Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Alex here with another video review for your viewing pleasures. Today, we're going to be talking about Team Whiskey's newest ROM. This is Bionics V, which is uh, the first ROM from Team Whiskey that's based off of the official um, Android 2.2 firmware released by Samsung and T-Mobile just a few days ago. Um, I gotta say, I'm quite excited about this because this is the first, the first ROM we have that's based off of the stable build that. Samsung has finally decided to release after what seven months or so so hopefully this is um, we see some drastic improvements uh, if not then you know well for us we've had 2.2 for a while so no biggie there let's get started and talk about this ROM um, the first thing let's go through speed like we always do um, I wanna first point out guys that this ROM is uh, by far I want to emphasize this ROM is by far the fastest most snappy thing I have ever played with um, ROM wise since I've started this whole flashing thing I mean like er when when things pop open in this ROM it seems like it just seems so snappy it's just like it seems like it takes like just a mere split second for anything to open up which is like really cool now I don't know if they did any like any tweaking with the um, like the amount of time it takes for animations or transitions to occur but things seem to be noticeably snappier like it just it's you can really see the snappiness when you compare it to other ROMs so um, I can't emphasize that enough when you're opening and closing apps like you've been seeing me doing here um, everything is just very responsive and opens in a split second. Uh, the scrolling in the lists just is extremely smooth. In the contacts list, looks very good. No stuttering whatsoever. Even right off the bat, when you first open contacts and you scroll, it's already pretty fast. Usually, it's choppy on the first scroll, but uh, as you can see here, it was still pretty fast. Okay, uh, let's see what else we can talk about on speed. Um, the average wake time for this ROM is um, approximately 1.7 seconds. Uh, pretty quick, uh, quick enough, I would say, for you to be satisfied. But uh, other ROMs that I've tested have been quicker in the waking area. So nothing bad there, but 1.7 seconds to wake and about 0.6 seconds, so about half a second to uh, fully sleep. So those are the numbers for that. And off to benchmark scores, I've actually added a second benchmark to this category now. Uh, I've also tried out Smart Bench 2010. Uh, here are the quadrant scores after about five quadrant after about five quadrant benchmark runs. Um, I've I took the last three runs, which were only within two points of each other, and I averaged those out. And the quadrant score for this ROM came out to be 1606. Um, once again, these numbers are very typical of these uh, recent Android 2.2 ROMs, so nothing special there. 1606 on Quadrant. Now, the big difference, though, is when I ran uh, Smart Bench 2010. When I ran Smart Bench, um, in case anyone doesn't know, Smart Bench actually gives you two values. It gives you um, a productivity index, which I guess is a measure of how fast the phone is overall, like throughout the UI and opening and closing apps, stuff like that. And a games index value, which is uh, a measurement of the gaming performance. So, with that said, the productivity index score for uh, Bionics V is an 1137. 1137, while the games index is uh, 2512. Um, now to put this into perspective, I recently received a MyTouch 4G as a birthday gift. Thank you to my girlfriend. Um, anyways, when I ran the benchmark on the MyTouch 4G, its productivity index was a mere 947 and the games index was 1367. So as you can see, the power of... Um, of this phone's GPU and the Hummingbird processor really outshine the hardware found in the uh, MyTouch 4G. 
so you know that add, like that kind of basically I'm tr I'm trying to show that it kind of disproves the quadrant score because the MyTouch 4G actually scored an 1887 in quadrant, which is 200 points higher than uh, that of this ROM, this phone. So um, you know there's a uh, fluctuations and inconsistencies in these benchmarks, but uh, I just gave you both there so you can decide for yourself. All right, and with all that said, um, once again, I this is by far the fastest ROM I've tested, so um, it's going to get a perfect 10 in speed, and I have not, I don't think I've ever given a perfect 10 in the speed category for any of the ROMs I've reviewed, so this is a big feat. Um, really fast, good job from Team Whiskey on the speed department. And I guess that's why they associated the Bionics name with the ROM, because um, we all know the original Bionics was all based on speed and stability. That was their main focus, and uh, they did it really well with this ROM. All right, next let's talk about features and functionality. We got the uh, notification toggles, okay, still there. The battery icon does indeed have a uh, percentage indicator inside. However, I got a note the text within that battery that tells you the percentage um, is extremely small and because it's white on a green background it's actually very hard to see so seriously I can't really even see it on, like when I hold it up like half a foot from my face so I mean I can only see it when it's that close about like six inches away from my face can I see it completely clearly so uh, gotta make that font a little bigger next time guys um, once again, this ROM is based off of the uh, official Android 2.2 firmware released by Samsung and T-Mobile. So, whatever you know, all the engineering aspects that Team Whiskey put into their ROMs uh, have you know been complemented and supplemented by any of the tweaks that Samsung has made to this official firmware. So we can expect really good performance out of it. Um, other features and functionality features, I guess, uh, comes with three keyboards. Um, swipe the Samsung keypad and the gingerbread keyboard which is the orange themed one uh, so the original gingerbread accents swipe has the fully functional uh, voice control uh, let's see the messaging application is indeed a uh, touch whiz okay so you're gonna get the uh, bubble threads there you go bubble threads and the picture picture messaging does work and in fact it works very quickly and we'll get more into that in network and battery um, contacts, TouchWiz contacts. So you'll be able to swipe right to call, swipe left to message. Okay, that's that. Let's see. The camera application does uh, not seem to have support for uh, the front facing camera. As you can see, the button up here is just for the camcorder. Uh, so for those of you who have the front facing camera, tough luck there. The uh, alarm application is the TouchWiz alarm clock. We have the TouchWiz calendar. Uh, we have Car Home and Desk Home pre-installed. Uh, the Samsung Media Hub, so that you can download and rent movies, has been included in this ROM. Samsung's Files application for managing your files. Uh, let's see. TouchWiz music player instead of the stock music player. And um, this ROM has Voodoo enabled by default. So um, if you're going to flash uh, this ROM, and if you're, you don't have to disable Voodoo if you're coming from a ROM that has Voodoo 5.0.4 or higher pre-installed. So if you're already running Voodoo, um, you don't have to disable it in order to flash this ROM. Okay, So keep that in mind. That's an important thing to note. Uh, four lock screens, you know, the three from the other Galaxy S's and the stock Android lock screen. So that wraps up features and functionality, and it is jam-packed with that. So we're going to give it a perfect 10 in this category. Last thing we're going to... Oh, no, no, not the last thing. We still have two more things to go. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, aesthetics, looks. Uh, this is how the phone looks after a... a a fresh flash of the ROM. It comes with this uh, very cool wallpaper of the waves. It reminds me of a sushi bar. Um, we got the gingerbread theme going on still, same as Nero with the green and black uh, theming. 
the settings menu has the black and white icons as opposed to colored ones found in Axura and other ROMs. Uh, the menus that pop up here, like this one, the, these menus are solid white backgrounds, not opaque or transparent. Uh, now what is nice is the uh, boot animation, uh, which is uh, new. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Uh, here we are, we're going to reboot, and here's the shutdown animation. Bionic shutting down system offline. Um, in case you don't know or you're wondering, the animation goes off, but right at this point, the phone is not completely off. Not until the phone vibrates does it go off. So uh, wait for the vibration before you, uh, uh, you know, you think that it's fully off. Because as soon as the animation goes off, that doesn't mean that it's off. All right, here's the boot animation, which looks really, really clean and nice in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and wait for that. Oh yeah, sorry. There it is. Um, I don't know if it did it, but there you go. Okay, well, I don't know if you saw it um, or if it just did it once, but it's like, like dust, like pixie dust, and it just kind of breaks and then it forms into the team whiskey logo so uh, uh, that's really cool in my opinion I think it's really nice and clean uh, moving on we're gonna the wallpapers the live wallpapers you get the two Nexus S ones the microbes and the um, the uh, Nexus live wallpaper and uh, the ROM comes with a really nice uh, selection or collection of static wallpapers a lot of it is like a uh, a lot of it is natural scenery like um, you know clouds and stuff which I always think look nice on phones so you have a really big collection of static wallpapers to play with and of course the whiskey bottles so nice nice collection there and that's it wraps up aesthetics guys and um, I usually I give all the the neuro ROMs a, like a nine in aesthetics because they all kind of look the same. But uh, with the addition of that new boot animation, which I really like and I think adds to the cleanliness of the ROM and how it looks, uh, I gave it an extra quarter of a point. So aesthetics gets a 9.25. All right, let's wrap this up and talk about network and battery. Um, the, this official build is based off of KA7, which performs pretty much like the previous uh, KAs, KA5, and KA6. So you get good data throughput throughout. Um, but here's the thing. I still can't send text messages in certain places at work where my coworkers who have the Verizon Samsung Fascinate can. So I don't know if that's a T-Mobile thing or... Um, you know, network networking from the, the ROM itself, but uh, yeah, so that's just a good thing to keep in mind. Um, however, I did notice that picture messages get sent a lot faster than before, so uh, they actually like go through faster than the previous versions uh, that I've tested of Nero, so that's good. Battery is uh, very typical, uh, just give it a good reconditioning. Um, and uh, you'll be able to go through your entire day without having to recharge unless you're like you use your phone constantly and you have it on full brightness and it's not an automatic brightness adjustment then you're probably gonna your phone's gonna die like halfway throughout the day but you know guys keep in mind that when you're talking about battery life there's a lot of things that you you yourself can do to optimize battery life like set the screens display on auto adjust uh, for the brightness uh, let's see what else you can do um, I, I personally do things like I remove uh, or I lower the, the power of haptic feedbacks vibrations. Uh, I take out any of the audio touch input sounds and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things. Download Juice Defender. It's a pretty good app that, that saves you a lot of battery even on the default preset. So try that if, you know, battery is a problem for you. But uh, in this case, network and battery gets a 9.25. Um, good stuff. All right, guys, in all, the ROM gets a total of 9.6, which is a pretty good ROM. I mean, a pretty good score. Um, this ROM is just completely solid, guys. And uh, for me, speed is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, factor. And in this case, speed gets a 10. So uh, good stuff uh, from Team Whiskey. We expect more from them soon. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment. Uh, 
I just got a My Touch 4G, so I may be doing um, videos for that too soon. So tell your friends who have that to check them out, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.